Tonight's big story. Hackers have once again attacked a major New Zealand medical network, accessing the personal data of hundreds of thousands of patients. Pinnacle Health says people's private health notes are not at risk, but cyber experts warn enough information could have been gained to carry out identity fraud. This woman wants her identity kept private, but hackers may already know too much. Well, I mean, it's my personal information. That's what's going to come from that. Who's got these details now? It's not just mine. It's my daughter's, you know, like my mum is also in the same situation. That's my family. There could be as many as 450,000 Pinnacle Health patients just like her after a cyber attack last week. We are now aware that malicious actors have breached our system and have accessed information which could include commercial and personal details. Pinnacle Health says as soon as it became aware of the breach, the affected IT system was taken offline and contained, and personal medical notes are not at risk. However, we do have some personal information such as names, addresses and NHI numbers. The hackers are concerned to Royal College of GPs President Dr Brian Betty. It's not personal GP records and I think that's very, very important to, to reassure. And again, this has been investigated fully with the police and with Pinnacle. They say it's still in a very early stage of the response and they're working out how the breach happened and why. For more on this, we're joined by cyber security expert Jorg Bus from Dark Scope. Hi there, Jorg. Uh, there was a major cyber attack uh, just last year on the Waikato DHB. Are our medical providers easy targets? Are they doing enough to protect our private details? Yeah. Hi, Ingrid, and thanks for having me. So I would not say that um, New Zealand's medical providers are easy targets per se, but um, they are targeted by cyber criminals. Um, let me put that into a little bit of perspective. Um, here at Darkscope, we see attacks against all kinds of businesses on a daily basis, so it's nothing really special. Um, so it is, I think... New Zealand improved a lot over the last decade in terms of information security, and we we, we got a lot of uh, a lot better. But also the attackers got a lot better. So it's it's getting really hard for especially for employees to identify um, today's spear phishing attacks, for example, and uh, to identify those attacks and um, then report them. So it, it's getting really hard. OK, Pinnacle says the medical information itself is safe, but hackers could have names, addresses and NHI numbers. What are they able to do with those kind of details? We have to understand that cyber criminals, uh, they run a business. So it's not the, the lonely wolf we have. We have, a, um, um, on the other side, we have um, businesses who use all kinds of information and they create profiles out of us. So if I have, on one hand, medical information of someone or um, personal information like name and, and uh, address, and then I have, um, for example, a Facebook incident we had not long ago, we can correlate or the attackers can correlate this kind of information and then create a profile out of this information and use that to attack us as the user. And um, then it's always with a financial background. So they try to then um, yeah, try to, to get to our, our, our money. OK, so they could ask for ransom, for example. They could ask for ransom. They could just um, lure you in, in, in a story where you uh, give them your credit card details because they have details about you. So usually, usually, if you you might receive a call or you might receive an email that contains your personal information, and uh, that creates a trusted relationship. So if I already know about you, about your name, about your address, or maybe even your medical history, uh, that creates automatically a trust. And this trust is then be misused by the attackers to just lure you in, in, in a trap and get um, payments from you or credit card uh, information. Okay, just, just really quickly, what should someone do if they have been, if, if their personal information has been accessed? We always should be careful about where we, um, who we give our personal information to, and we should always be aware of where it is stored. Is it around your uh, name and your address? There's not much you can do, but if, if, if it's around your email address and passwords and stuff like that, then of course you should always take care of your passwords. Also, if you don't know if someone calls you on an email address and you don't know this person, just do your research before you go onto any website or click any links. Okay, Jörg, thanks very much for your time tonight. No worries. Thank you.